hi guys welcome to my channel um today we're going to tackle you know cleaning um well really like dusting and cleaning like this bookshelf that's here in my living room um then i'm going to also tackle the fireplace that's off to the side look how dusty that stuff is i'm probably not going to talk so much um during this part of the video because today i am not feeling good so um and today is easter so happy easter but yeah so i'm just showing you guys how dusty everything is and i'm just gonna let you guys sit back and relax and just watch me as i clean or tackle these two areas in my living room Okay, so I'm just gonna take the stuff here and I just put it here on my um, fireplace and I'm just gonna wipe it. It's probably gonna be hard for y'all to see, but I'm gonna spray some pledge on here. I'm gonna wipe it off. Um, I'm being lazy, but I need to get it done. So I'm being lazy how I'm gonna do it. So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film. But I just want y'all to see how dusty it is.
Okay, so they had a extra, I think it's called an extravaganza or something like that. Um, it's like a big Easter egg hunt that they had um, on base in Mildenhall. So um, we took the kids and look at that one. She was ready. It wasn't her turn to go. And so I had to like fight her. It was Miles' turn. So he was out there. It's his first Easter egg hunt, I believe. Because I don't think we did this last year. Oh, no, we didn't do it last year. Plus, he was super young. And um, the weather was, like, really horrible. And we didn't know anything about it because we had just kind of got here. But anyway, so my husband is just taking him around. Um, and he's going to be hunting eggs. And it's really cute. So I had to um, put this part in, in the video so I could show you guys what we did on this day. So I was trying to show the Easter Bunny, but my kids were not worried about him. Look, they, she's ready to go get her Easter eggs. And Miles got his eggs and it, they were not caring about the Easter Bunny at all. I thought that was funny. This is my daughter's room y'all this was behind her tv stand look how dirty that tv stand is oh my gosh so yeah so now i'm about to try to tackle this and the i was supposed to just be putting her desk together because we switched desk and i was just supposed to put her desk together but when i start one thing and i see something else it just it just adds up so now i'm just going to tackle her room okay so we're finally finished with my daughter's room show you guys what it looks like real quick before she comes in here and stops me put up your desk this is what her desk looks like 
eventually gonna get her another chair. Cause this is like my husband's old office chair and it's all beat up. Doesn't go with her room or anything like that. This is her bed. She has laundry she has to do. And this is the cleaned TV stand finally. Like I said, I'm just gonna show a little bit of it because she doesn't really like me to be in her room. She don't have her home, something like that. This is her mirror that we got her. And then here's that. So yeah, this, I didn't show a lot of her room. It literally took us hours. Well, it took me hours. My husband helped, but it took like three hours to clean her room. Cause I kind of, I kind of started deep cleaning it and I wasn't really trying to, but I did. So now that her room is done, I've already done my youngest room and the only room I have to do is our room as far as like deep cleaning, but it's not super bad. I just need to dust in there. But um, yeah, that's all for today. Sorry it was short, but I had to get it done. All right, guys, so it's uh, the next day and I'm making gumbo, car pot gumbo, because it's easy to make. And my husband been wanting some and we've been talking about making gumbo for like a week now. Well, I've been talking about making it for a week now. So um, I'm just going to show you guys like <clears throat> how I am. I've already started like I have everything prepped. I'm just about to add everything to the crock pot. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what's in the crock pot right now and what I need to add. So right now I just, it's like a roux and I just have, um, it's um, some onions, celery and bell pepper and the roux, you make it with um, vegetable oil and flour. And then I'm going to add my chicken. I use chicken breasts. People use chicken thighs. I just use chicken breasts. Um, and then those are some sausage, the shrimp and, um, crab are in here i'm letting them soak in like vinegar and lemon juice and water because they were frozen and you know i don't like the fishy taste so i'm letting them soak in there um so now i'm about to add my um well this is bone broth chicken bone broth but you normally add like some type of chicken stock so i'm gonna add that and then i'm gonna put some creole seasoning and some of this in here i don't want to make it too spicy because my daughter would not eat it if it's too spicy so i'm just going to add that and then i'll come back and show you guys um, what it looks like all right guys so this is what it's looking like now i forgot that i needed to put okra in there so i put the okra in there and i'm just kind of like just mixing everything around um i put two bay leaves in there and i'm just kind of shoving them in just to make sure that they kind of like cook with everything else so this is how it looks right now i'm going to throw the lid on there and cook it on high for about four hours i'm going to leave the um link to the video that i use um below because um it's a really easy recipe and like gumbo like my family would make gumbo all the time my mom used to make it for us all the time um and then like my aunt started making it so this is something that we used to eat pretty much all the time so um i'm gonna let that cook for about four hours i need to clean this kitchen because i was cleaning as i was going but yeah it was kind of crazy so i'm going to clean the kitchen up and get everything squared away and then i'm gonna rest because um y'all know yesterday i was like doing my daughter's room for forever and then i came back and i made spaghetti this is why I look like this. <laughs> I am tired. I have like my little thing on my head looking crazy. But anyway, so I'm going to let this cook. Going to clean the kitchen. Finally have my coffee. Listen to my kids. I don't even know what they're doing. And I don't even care right now. Whatever. Somebody hurry up and clean this kitchen. Because I'm tired and I've been on my feet for the last ever since i woke up so i'm about to do that and then i will call it back at you guys whenever everything's done so i have my crab here again excuse my kids they're fighting up always and my shrimp here 
I'm just gonna add my crab first to push it in here, and then I'm gonna put. Hey, stop it! And then I'm gonna add um, my shrimp, and I'll let you guys see after I put everything in. Okay, here's how it's looking now. Um, like I said, I just pushed all of the seafood kind of down so it's covered, um, and that way um, it can cook. I'm only gonna cook it, I think the recipe says for about like another 30 minutes, but I'm probably gonna cook it for a little bit longer. I might cook it for 30 minutes and then put it on low because um, my husband's, I'm gonna wait till he get home because we don't have our rice yet. So I'm gonna cook that for about another 30 minutes um, and then um, I'll be back to show you the finish. All right, so here's the finished look. I got my rice in there already. Got some sauces. I haven't got any crab yet. They're still in there. I'm probably gonna get that next. I don't like to have like crab shells like that or trying to mess with the crab while I'm eating a couple. So here it is. I'm about to eat and I'll talk to you guys later.